Family and friends of a Campbell River man are mourning his death tonight after a freak weekend accident. Fred Rose is being remembered as friendly, generous and helpful. Rose was killed Sunday when his ATV rolled on top of him. Those who knew him are now continuing with his plans for an annual Valentine's dinner that he was organizing. Dean Stoltz reports. You never believe something like that because the shock is, is uh, it, it, it just sets you right back on your heels. Lynn Nash and others are remembering their friend today, 57-year-old Fred Rose, who was killed in a freak accident at his Campbell River home on Sunday. He was unloading his quad, uh, one of the ramps broke and it ended up on top of him. Fred and his wife Karen are well known in the community, owners of Rose's Country Catering. If you've been at a catered event in Campbell River, chances are that Fred fed you, including at this huge 50th anniversary party at the Elk Falls Mill in 2002, where preparations for the dinner and Fred were documented on video. Fred, it's huge. Now we got uh, around 1,700 tonight. We're having way too much fun. How are we doing here, guys? His friends say he was energetic, trustworthy, and generally someone you could always rely on. Fred was the guy you could go to. You know, if you if you needed something done, Fred would do it. You know, you could count on it. You know, you could bank on it. Fred's comment was always, "Oh, we'll make it work," and he always did. Very, very affable and and uh, extremely cooperative fellow, and um, a, a very, very community spirited as well. He was part of the Maritime Heritage Society from the beginning and was responsible in part for the opening of the Maritime Heritage Centre. He loved the outdoors and being on the water and helped organize one of the museum's annual fundraisers, the Discovery Passage Boat Rodeo. you remember meeting him for the first time? <clears throat> I do, and, and, and just, uh, just thinking, you know, now here's a guy that, you know, you could really get to like because he's, he's, just, he's just that very open, very friendly, uh, very warm uh, sort of person. And it is, it's a tragic thing. A uh, young man who, who really in the prime of his life. And uh, um, uh, Karen has made the commitment to carry on and fulfill these obligations that, uh, that uh, they have. And the first one is this Saturday, another one of Fred's fundraisers for the Maritime Heritage Center, the eighth annual Romance Your Valentine Dinner. And we actually had a conversation just the other day about how we we're going to celebrate number 10 and he just laughed.